Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the air with you, and we are broadcasting from David's tent. In the background, you will hear the worship. As I said, that was the purpose of this tent from the beginning. We have heard many testimonies in the last few weeks from people who said they had been praying for this for many years. One lady shared the other day, over 20 years ago, God gave her the vision that there would be a worship tent placed in the backyard of the White House. David, many years ago, said his nation was in trouble. And he said, this is what we will do. And as king, he ordered a tent to be placed in the backyard of the palace and put worshipers in there, and blowers of the shofar and playing of instruments. And indeed, many scholars believe that there were even some that were hired. In other words, they were paid to be worshipers. Not necessarily singers or preachers, but worshipers. The Bible records that after many years, Israel was indeed blessed because of the worship that went forth. We're praying for our nation. We'll not talk politics tonight, but everybody knows we're in deep trouble in America. It's not political, it's spiritual. And the way we correct our problem is not political, nor is it even religious. It is to worship Almighty God. And that's what this tent is here for, ladies and gentlemen. You can hear in the background, and worship began about Oh, half hour, 45 minutes ago. Actually, yesterday the tent was up, and for 24 hours there was silent worship that took place. And then tonight at 7 o'clock. Oh, the shofar. Yes. You blew the shofar then, right? My son blew the shofar with about a dozen other people. Amen. Yeah. And uh, and, come and around here. Come around here where you can get far, on. Blowing of the shofar signified the end of Yom Kippur. Come over just a little bit further so we can sort of get you central right. in the screen and on the. All right, now, tell us about the shofar and why the shofar was blown tonight, and the significance of the shofar. Of course, um, I'm not uh, very well versed in it, but the shofar has always been a symbol. Um, of the Lord's presence and the Lord being on your side. Amen. And David used it in battle many times to blow the shofar before battle or during battle to show that, you know, this this was God's idea. And God is on our side. Amen. And we're going into this battle, battle with him on our side, so we expect to win. Amen. And the shofar has been used in all the ceremonies in Israel, all the Jewish ceremonies of celebration, the feasts, and this is the uh, feast we just celebrated is Yom Kippur, which is, of course, the Day of Atonement, where the high priest is supposed to enter into the Holy of Holies and um, represent or take the sins of the, of the nation of Israel with him uh, and uh, atone for all those sins. And the blowing of the shofar when he comes out signifies the end of the, that day at sundown. And uh, that's, that's why we all came tonight with shofars to blow that, to signify the end of our silent celebration of Yom Kippur and the beginning of 24 hour, 24 seven worship all the way up to the day of the election here in the United States. All right. Tell our listening, wait, before you go, yep. tell our listening audience, if you don't mind, tell our listening audience who you are, where you live. My name is Alan Montgomery, and I live about 20 miles north of Washington, D.C., in Maryland. And I go to uh, Emmanuel's Church, which is uh, a non-denominational church here in the area. Um, I have two sons who are working here in the tent, Amen. and uh, on and off. And I was part of the 30-day preparation uh, along with you, Wiley. <laughs> well, I got in on sort of the tail end the of it. The tail end of it, right, where we came down here yeah, on the ellipse yeah, yeah. for 30 days prior to to yesterday and prayed 24-7, 
someone here was praying on the ellipse to prepare for this event. Amen. Because, you know, unless there is unified prayer uh, towards a thing or a happening or an event, um, things can go wrong. Amen. And we want we want the blessing of the Lord upon Amen. us. So Amen. That's why we were praying. And you know, one of the other things too that I said, and it was not in an attempt to justify why I wasn't here. <laughs> I hope people will understand that uh, because I was not able to be. But I did come as quick as I could. And but one of the things that I said is is that um, in reference to preparation as well as ongoing battle. Mm -hmm. uh, we need boots on the ground and prayer in the air. Prayer in the air, right. And so I spent uh, most, most of that 30 days prayer in the air. Uh -huh. And then had a privilege, uh, the privilege a few days ago to indeed come and be boots on the ground. So, Alan, thank you so much You're for welcome. sharing with us tonight. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Don't want to keep you from the no, worship. That's all right. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Wiley. And tell your sons thank you as well. And God right. bless you. God bless you. Good night. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear in the background from time to time the sounds from David's tent, the worship service that is here to declare repentance and to declare a dependence upon Almighty God. Many of you have prayed with us on a daily basis the prayer that we have prayed called the call to fall and that call to fall if you'd like to find out more about the project you can go to call c-a-l-l -L, the number two and f-a-l-l -L, call to fall hello this is wiley you cannot see me huh okay Okay, it's dark. Okay, well, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I can see me on the screen here a little bit, but uh, not not very much. Can you see me at all? Okay, well, I think uh, I don't think I have any choice. I don't think I have any other area that uh, is lighted. Uh, if I had a flashlight, I could put a flashlight on my face. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think what we'll do is uh, just continue on, uh, even if they can't see me. You say you can hear me okay? Oh, okay, well, we're not gonna worry about seeing me. They see me all the time. If I see somebody with a flashlight, I'll uh, try to bum it from them. <laughs> But uh, in the meantime, we'll just continue on, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, folks, they're telling me that it's uh, the picture. We're not being able to be seen, but we can be heard. And it's really not important that I be seen. Uh, I'll see maybe if I can get a little different light perspective here. Maybe maybe that would help. I uh, don't know uh, what I can do here. Try to try to shift this around here a little bit and uh, maybe get a little bit uh, more light uh, this way. And uh, we'll see if uh, that will help. Hopefully it will. And. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to call and be a part of this worship service, if you'd like to lead us in prayer, if you'd like to be one of those warriors who is prayer in the air, prayer in the air, if you'd like to do that, praise God. Praise God. You don't have a flashlight, do you? No, I ain't got one, bro. <laughs> well, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for watching I was hoping that brother might have a flashlight, but uh, you don't need to see me. You can hear me, and you can hear the worship in the background. Oh, well, that's the worship there. Yeah. Uh, well, we're broadcasting live on uh, television right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. In fact, wait, oh you you with these people? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't know it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, my station just told me, as you can see, it's sort of dark.
Yeah. And so we don't have much light. That's why I need a flashlight. Yeah. yeah. But uh, anyway. What channel are you on? Well, it's on the internet. It's the internet oh. channel. It goes all over the internet. Well, why didn't put it on TV? Well, it will be on TV later. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because I just moved here. I'm, I'm, I'm help trying to help get uh, this man back in the White House. Because they Rama just been disappointed, man. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't took his mouth and put his foot in. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He didn't, he really done disgraced the Republican Party. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think it's it's, it's a curse, man. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the worship music in the background. This is a time of worship. Republicans, Democrats, all party members are here. Uh, not to be political in that sense at this point, but to be worshipful. The Bible says that David erected a tent just behind the palace and called people to come to worship. Yes. These young people here under the leadership of the Lord, but with the leadership of Jason Hershey has erected a tent here literally on the backyard of our president and these folks are worshiping together yes they're worshiping the lord they're worshiping the lord they're worshiping the lord and we're trusting and praying and hoping that the worship of the lord will bring about peace yes and prosperity to our nation yes and we thank the lord for that so if you'd like to call us you can reach us on the number here uh, the phone number here is 202-747-4839. If you'd like to call us from anywhere you're listening in the world. Now, I know the picture you're getting is not very good, but that's not important. What's important is the message of worship. The message of worship. If you would like to call and comment, like to call and lead us in a prayer, call us at 202 747 4839 202-747-4839 and you can be a part of this Wiley Drake show and I thank you so much for being here and uh, praise the Lord praise the Lord hallelujah hallelujah and uh, if you'd like to come over and get on the screen you can and tell them who you are and where you're from Thing is heavy. The key stand is not strong. Uh, well, that's okay. Hang on. Don't, 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 don't put it down. I'm gonna. Maybe I can. Maybe I can get over here to work. Praise the Lord. All right, my brother. Go ahead, and uh, uh, they're not gonna be able to see you very well, but they can hear you. So go ahead. And, my name is Wiley. Uh, I'm here with uh, Reverend Wiley. And I'm Bishop Timothy Nicholas, and I would like to invite everybody down that's here in uh, the metropolitan area, uh, and the ones that's uh, in far distant land, I'd like for you to listen to uh, us praise God uh, in the back lawn of uh, the White House, because uh, Jason and those are doing a very, 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 very good job here in magnifying and praising our God. Uh, in times such as these. And I would like to extend an extended invitation uh, for whoever is listening, that if you would, uh, if you can't come on down, if you would just uh, listen at this broadcast, I'm sure it will be able to do your heart a lot of good in times like these. And, it, and I say it to the Republicans as well as uh, the Democratic Party. May God bless you all for listening. And thank you. Amen. Amen. All right, my brother. Thank right. you. That's where it's on, on the internet there. You can, you're welcome to take that with you. Thank you. And we thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that's a gentleman here locally, Bishop, that uh, serving the Lord here in our nation's capital and very concerned about our nation's capital, as many of us are. Concerned over what is happening and literally what ought to be taking place and uh, so we indeed thank him for sharing with us and being a part of this worldwide broadcast on the Wiley Drake Show.
I want to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to be a part, you can call us. You can reach us on two phone numbers, 559-592-5961, 559-592-5961, or call us on the number here in Washington, D.C. We're bringing you the audio from David's tent. D.C. David's tent, D.C. If you'd like to call in and comment on it or call in and pray or call in and share in the worship, uh, go right ahead. Do, feel free to do so right now. I'm going to take this coat off so the white shirt will show a little more. Maybe that'll give us a little bit, uh, a little bit more reflection, a little bit more light. And... Uh, we do thank the Lord for the opportunity we have to be here with you tonight. You're listening to David's Tent, D.C. David's Tent, D.C. And uh, if I had a flashlight, <laughs> I could give you a little bit more light. But um, hopefully this uh, white shirt will sort of work as a reflector, reflect a little bit uh, of the... Uh, brighter light, maybe give us a little bit more light uh, here in the, in the picture. And so we thank you so much for being with us tonight and trust that God will bless you and trust that uh, if you'd like to be a part of the show tonight, uh, we are now uh, almost 20 minutes into the show and we do encourage you to call if you'd like and uh, I think what I'll do is call Brother Mel and uh, find out uh, see if uh, the audio is coming through to him see if he can get Are you getting audio pretty good on this? Are you hearing us okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'll try to get closer to the speaker. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're not coming through very good on the radio either. Uh, get one of those bike riders to use their light on them. <laughs> okay, folks, uh, we're doing our best to try to get to you the uh, audio. It's not coming through clear on the radio, and I apologize for that. And uh, I don't know what I can do. If you would like to call us, ladies and gentlemen, call on 559-592-5961. Give us a call, and that'll come through loud and clear. So if you'd like to help us out, call on in and uh, let us know that you're watching us, all right? We're going to try to stay in the light as best we can here. And, I know now I need a flashlight. <laughs> I could put a flashlight on me. That would help some light here, but uh, I'll try to work on that uh, tomorrow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to ask you to pray for David's Tent, D.C. also want to ask you to pray for an event that starts on Friday in our nation's birthplace where Independence Hall is. The original Independence Hall, the original Liberty Bell is in Philadelphia. And there is an event going on 
uh, there in Philadelphia this weekend. And we would encourage you to go. It's AFJ, America for Jesus 2012.org. AFJ 2012.org. Go there and uh, uh, get the information. There's going to be a um, uh, event going on in Philadelphia at uh, the what's called the uh, uh, Independence Mall, Liberty Mall there in, in in Philadelphia. So we would encourage you to go and be a part of that in Philadelphia. And we would encourage you to come here to the tent. Now remember, David's tent is going to be here for another 40 days, all the way up to November the 6th. This tent will be here. This is officially sanctioned by the Park Department, officially sanctioned by the folk that are responsible for the backyard of the White House. And so they are responsible and uh, we encourage you to uh, uh, be a part. Give us a call. Be here on the live broadcast with us from Washington, D.C. And we do apologize for the quality of the picture not being better, not having a light crew to carry with me. Uh, we're not getting much light here from the small lights in the park. But we are here, and we're here to worship. And we praise God for the opportunity of worship. Call us on 559-592-5961. Or if you'd like to call us on the uh, Washington, D.C. number, that number is 202-747-4839. So give us a call. Give us a call and let us know your points of worship. That's what this is all about, folks. This is about worship. This is about worshiping uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. So please help us worship the Lord Jesus Christ. See, this is just a light from my cell phone. If I had... Uh... If I had a flashlight, we'd be all right. But... Best laid plans of mice and men. I got other things, but I didn't get a light. We'll try to take care of that tomorrow. And in the, in the event we do broadcast in the dark tomorrow night, we'll have a light to shine on us so you can see us. But as I mentioned, it really isn't that important for you to see me. The importance is that you see the Lord. See the Lord in your mind's eye. As you hear the worship music, as you hear the people, men and women, boys and girls, worshiping together, as you hear them, uh, join in the joy. Join in the joy of worship of Almighty God. Join in the joy, folks, of worship. You can hear David's tent in the background. That's the musical worship team. David said, play the stringed instrument, play the harp, play the flute, play the drums. That's being done here according to the word of God. David's tent, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I would encourage you, as you worship tonight, seek the Lord. And I would encourage you to seek the Lord in what he would have you do in reference to David's tent. Now, they've had a considerable amount of outlay as far as finances in order to get this tent up. They were able to get the permits needed from the government and the tent is up. But they need 
to pay the bills. So if you'd like to help, go to davidstentdc.org, davidstentdc.org, and make a donation. The other thing I would ask you to worshipfully listen to the Lord about is wherever you might live within the sound of my voice, why not make a trip to our nation's capital for a day or two or three or whatever? Make a trip here to Washington, D.C. and see the tent. But even more than seeing the tent, uh, have your worship experience here in the tent. Plan a trip. Come to Washington, D.C. There is no, uh, no entrance fee, no charge. It's all free. The only drawback at all, of course, is like Washington all over, there's a parking problem. But there is parking. And uh, you can come and park, walk over to the backyard of the White House, commonly referred to here in the city as the Ellipse. The Ellipse is a large oval-shaped piece of ground just behind the White House. And we would encourage you to be a part we would encourage you to come and worship at David's Tent, D.C. DavidsTentDC.org Come and worship. Help others come and worship. But come and worship. And uh, if you will, you'll be able to hear their prayers, you'll be able to hear their worship, you'll be able to see their worship, and so we encourage you to come and worship with them. They're saying they, they're at the altar. Jason had a phrase in reference to the fact that the ellipse is oval in shape and the president's office, what would have, would be our king is indeed the Oval Office. And so one of the things that Jason said, this is an Oval Altar for the Oval Office. And so we praise the Lord uh, for that. Thank the Lord that Jason came up with that idea. I would ask you to enter into the worship and if possible, come to our nation's capital. Come to the nation's worship tent, David's tent, D.C. All right, we have a caller on the line. Caller, are you there? All right, who do we have on the line with us? I'm sorry, what was your name again? Hello? Hello? Well, you're breaking up on me. I don't know if it's my fault or yours. Can you call back? Can you try to call back and see if you get a better connection? You're breaking up on me, I'm sorry. Hello? Well, we're getting a lot of police noise right now. I'm not sure what that's all about. I hope it's not about me. <laughs> It has been in the past, but I don't think it is now. I think it's a highway, uh, highway problems, not a, not a problem with Wiley Drake.
lot of chopper activity in the air. I don't know. If, that may be the president coming home. I believe it is, ladies and gentlemen. Obama arriving at David's tent. Mr. Obama landing at the White House. How cool is that, folks? David's tent, the opening night, the president flies home right over the tent. He had to see and hear the worship as the president came in. He came in over David's tent. How cool is that? David's tent. Come on over, folks, and be on TV with you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're hearing the worship from David's tent. You just heard President Obama arriving back at the White House. And we praise the Lord. If you'd like to call, reach us on 559-592-5961 or on the 202 number, 202-747-4839. The chopper noise. The chopper noise was the helicopter of Air Force One. The helicopter of the President of the United States of America. And uh, how cool is that? The President comes home to worship service in his backyard at indeed 8.33 in the evening. As the president returned home, he came in over David's tent, D.C. How cool is that? And uh, you witnessed it as well here on the Wiley Drake Show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wiley Drake, and you'll have to watch in the morning if you want to see what I look like. <laughs> because our lighting is not good enough tonight. But I hope you're able to hear the worship. The most important part of this is not Wiley Gray, not even Jason Hershey. But the most important part of all of this is worship on the back lawn of the White House. As Jason said, an oval altar for the oval office. Now, as the president comes back, landing at the White House, going back into, probably not the Oval Office, going into the residence of the White House. But as he flew in, as he came in, he saw David's tent, D.C., and knew that there's worship going on in his backyard. What a great, great deal that is. And uh, we want to say to you again and again, enter in to worship. Consider coming to our nation's capital. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if there's ever been a David's tent, a worship tent, placed here at the White House in all the history of America. But if America ever needed a David's tent, we need it now. So, we're here with David's tent. Pastors, priests, bishops, 
and people alike all coming here to worship all coming here to worship the Judeo-Christian God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Coming to worship Almighty God here on the ellipse, the backyard of the White House. We trust as the chopper blades stop, Mr. Obama can hear the pealing of the worship service from David's tent D.C. And it is so close because we're on the backyard. We know that as soon as those blades stopped, he could hear the worship service coming across his back lawn into the back door of the White House. And we pray, Lord, that you would anoint that sound, that he might be moved to turn to you, Lord, that he might be moved to a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. And we ask that you would bless David's tent, D.C. Folks, enter into the worship of the Lord. Enter into the worship and consider coming here to the White House, to David's tent, D.C. You're listening to the worship at David's tent, D.C. Praise the Lord. You are hearing David's tent, D.C. Hi. David said, play the drums. The drums are being played to worship God. David said, dance as David danced, play the drums, the drums are beating, and the dance is taking place in David's tent, D.C. You're going to hear some noise now, one of the escort choppers that just escorted the president. It's now leaving. Hello, God bless you. Hello, Hello God bless you. Hi. Hi. This is Pastor Drake. It is Pastor Drake. We're live on television and radio from Washington, D.C. Uh, well, no, uh, I'm on a live broadcast right now. I'm sorry. Uh, did you get in touch with my security guard, Will Ruffin? Okay, call this number, 714-522. Uh, okay, just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a call from Kaiser Hospital wanting to make arrangements for someone. And we always answer the phone no matter when and where 
We always do that. That's just my policy. Whether you like it or not, that is our policy. And uh, there are people arriving here. Uh, the president has just arrived uh, by helicopter uh, back to uh, the White House. And uh, we praise the Lord that we were able to be here to witness that. And we thank the Lord for that. You are experiencing the worship service from David's tent. We've got about uh, 17 minutes left, folks, and then we'll be uh, ending this program. But we do apologize for the quality of the picture. Uh, we hope you're able to hear, and uh, we'll try to do better tomorrow if we're Broadcasting tomorrow night, uh, we'll try to have a, a light so we can get light on the subject, so to speak, and uh, we'll do our best to do that. So uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience on Crusade Radio. Uh, it's not Crusade's fault. It's not Ustream's fault. It's our conditions here, and uh, we were not equipped. We're not equipped to handle uh, this kind of lighting this kind of audio situation but I hope this will be a blessing to you I hope it will challenge you I hope it will challenge you to consider coming to DC not to march not to rally not to demonstrate but to worship that's what goes on in David's tent they're not demonstrating, that's another day. But they're worshiping God Almighty. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost is being worshiped. And we praise the Lord for that. Thank you so much for listening and watching tonight. We apologize for the lighting, but uh, we do praise the Lord. We were able to be with you. Uh, as they say in Hollywood, the show must go on. <laughs> and uh, it did go on tonight. And we thank the Lord for that opportunity. We now have 15 minutes left in this show and left in this worship experience. You will come, Lord. Worship will bring your presence. That's not my philosophy. That's not even my theology. That is what the Bible says. Worship brings the very presence of Almighty God. You're hearing the worship service from the backyard 
of the White House, the backyard of B. Hussein Obama. You are hearing the worship of Almighty God. I want to ask you to pray for the other event that's going to be going on this weekend, several other events. Let me give you the website. The first one is Acts 5, A-C-T-S-F-I-V-E 29, Acts 529.org. Go to that and you'll find out what young people are going to be doing this weekend, taking a stand here at the Capitol. Also over in Philadelphia, America for Jesus, AFJ12.org. Check that out. Great worship, solemn assembly, beginning of 40 days of prayer, not only with that organization, but with uh, Brother Rick Scarborough. Listen now to the worship. Worship the Lord wherever you're listening. Thank God for his worship leaders. Thank God for this worship time. What a great, great blessing this has been. Worship the Lord as you hear these folks worshiping the Lord. Worship the Lord. The worship has stopped for a moment. I'm not sure if that is for prayer or I just have to make some kind of adjustments or just what the situation is. We have about um, eight minutes left, ladies and gentlemen, before we go off the air with Crusade Radio and about 10 minutes before we go off on Ustream. And again, I do ask your forgiveness. There go the shofars. A lot of background noise, but I believe you can hear the shofars coming from David's tent. Playing the beautiful sound of the shofar. The beautiful sound of the shofar coming from the worship tent called David's Tent, D.C. That grace appeared. 
the hour I first believed. Grace, yes. And grace will lead us home. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. great yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Can you say praise God, folks? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Can you say praise the Lord? Somebody say praise the Lord. Listening to the worship team from David's Tent, D.C. Worshiping Almighty God. Praising God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. How sweet the sound. Yes, Lord, thank you for your saving grace. Come to D.C. and worship in David's tent, D.C. Make a trip. Come and worship. You can go sightseeing or do other things, but come and worship at David's Tent, D.C. The first time in the history of our nation that there's been a tent on the backyard of the White House to worship God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. In just a couple of minutes, about a minute and a half, we'll be going off with Crusade Radio. We do apologize to Crusade Radio and to our audience for the quality. We'll try to improve upon that, try to make that better. And uh, we do apologize for that. But we have uh, just one minute left on Crusade Radio. You're listening to David Sint from Washington, D.C. Folks, praising God. 
worshiping God on the back lawn of the White House. First time in the history of America. What a great, great opportunity for us to be here. And a fellowship from the backyard of the White House. In just about 15 seconds, I'm going to go off on Crusade Radio, and uh, we'll be on for a couple of more minutes after that on Ustream. And I'm going to move the camera a little bit and see if we can get maybe a little closer to the tent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, good night and God bless you on Crusade Radio. Doug Millar will be on in just a moment. So stay tuned for him. Good night. Remember, do justice, love mercy, and walk with God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make our way, if we can, and uh, take our position over uh, <coughs> at the tent. Uh, it's going to be dark for a little while, and I apologize for that. Uh, but you can see uh, some of the lights. Uh, there from the tent. We'll get over here uh, by the tent and uh, be able to get a little bit more light when we get to the tent. And uh, hello. Hi. And I'll not be talking when I get to the tent because this is a worship service and we do not want to distract or interrupt anything to do with the worship service. But I am going to go to the tent and see if we can get a little bit more pictures uh, from the tent. You'll only hear me right now because I'm really out in the dark. <laughs> if you hear somebody fall down, it was probably me. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go, and uh, they're making, taking a little break or something. I'm not really sure exactly what's transpiring, but we'll find out. <clears throat> Charlene, how are you? Great to see you. 